What is up you guys? It is me, obviously. I didn't vlog yesterday because I was just so busy yesterday, so I was editing this like video, main channel video, which is coming out tonight, hopefully, but it'll be already up for you guys already, but it'll be coming out tonight for me, but anyway. I was just like doing all that yesterday, and to be honest, I actually have enjoyed editing it, actually. It's a video which I'm really proud of, so, um, yeah, it's gonna be up tonight. So I'm just doing the final stages to it and then it should be out. But I've like filmed that like a week ago. Like it took so much, like, a long time to film because it's like a week long video. So anyway, um, but I'm about to go to some stores very soon. Just go a bit of like shopping and then, yeah. Um, that was pretty sad actually. In fact, I might have a cheeky coffee before I head out. Right, I'm in like TK Maxx right now. I think there's like awesome candles, which I'm really gonna like to smell. <gasps> it smells lovely. It's like a pumpkin spice kind of candle. There's, like so many different like flavoured candles. There's much nicer candles. Spice pumpkin, one looks nice anyway. See, it smells the same. Yeah, it smells the same. <laughs> Honey pumpkin, what does that smell like? Oh my god. It smells like sweet butter. You know when you like mix butter like brown sugar? When you're baking cakes, something to smell it. Um, what's this one? Pumpkin creme brulee. That smells lovely. It smells like vanilla, like toffee yogurt. It smells like green yogurt. Not green yogurt. Green candle as well. Caramel apple lollipop. Oh, that smells nice. It smells like apple and smells like apple cleaning products, which I love. Like a nice smelling kind. God, I'm back from retail park shopping. Retail park shopping went pretty good. And I also got a Costa latte as well, so happy days. I don't know, I just love the good old retail park. That's one thing I love about this country is that the UK is known for its like retail parks because I can't really like think of like where else has retail parks, apart from like America, which are like malls, but I mean, we have malls, that's where we have shopping centers, retail parks, but I don't know, we just can't be a good retail park, especially when you have like stores like Wilkinson's or Bean Air or something on the, and that's that like, top tier retail park. Anyway, I can talk about it for ages because I love retail parks so much, but anyway, um, well, I'm sweating. It's like kind of like, really hot out, so I come back and I'm sweating, which makes a change because it's been miserable these last few days, but today it's just like really so like hot and dark, um, not that hot, but it's like hot enough to make you sweat when you walk in, anyway. I'm gonna edit, well, edit the last bit of that video now. I'm gonna really go at it and just edit the last part of the video. And then that should be me done for that video then, which I'm very excited about. So, yeah. Oh my god, okay. Oh my golly. I'm excited because my main channel video is being sports, so I'm about to upload this main channel video, which I am very excited about. But, okay, so I've just done a photo right now, as you can tell, because I just changed t shirt right now. But I had a photo shoot, or a mini photo shoot. But, okay, so I normally, I have to say, which I know is a bit of a touchy subject, but I edit my photos, okay? I face tune them and then edit on Instagram and then upload it to Instagram because I've got all those like wrinkles and bits and stuff which I don't want to really see. I've been getting better at like uploading actual photos, I have to say, but when I do edit my photos, I often will like do a whole editing process. So I go on face tune obviously and then like smooth the face out. So I use like the smoothing feature and like smooth all my face out. Then any sort of like bags or like just use like the contour feature, what's it called? Contour, I'm trying to think what, what it's called. I know it's not called contour. Conceal, yes, conceal. I use a conceal feature on these eyes, or the bags of my eyes, and sometimes my moustache bit as well. I then, well, of course, um, do my whole face. And then if I need to adjust the brightness, which I have for this photo, so I'll then use like a defocus feature because my phone, for some reason, has got a selfie feature. Like the only time where it focuses is if it like focuses on like on the camera which like point face if you know what I mean like if you do the selfie feature you can't focus it so the background doesn't blur which I don't think looks nice and so then I have to use face tune to do the defocus feature so I'll add the blur in the background then and I'll upload it to Instagram then I also use an Instagram feature which I don't know what it's called I can't remember what it's called but 
It's something which makes it more brighter, so the photo becomes more brighter and a lot more sort of nicer. So that's how I normally edit the photos. So um, yeah, that's what you, you guys might like to know because I upload quite a lot of photos. I don't really ever really tell you guys how I normally edit them, but I go through a whole like editing process. But um, yeah, that's a bit of information which you guys probably didn't want, but actual put out there, yes, I edit the photos, but I edit them for good reason. Uh -huh. So anyway, I'm about to watch this video now, I'm very excited. Hi, okay, it is a lot later now. Um, it's about half ten now and I'm having some cravings right now. And I want to make myself some Yorkshire puddings and gravy. Like, I don't know, you just cannot beat Yorkshire puddings and gravy. The only thing is though, is that you need milk? Do you need milk? I'm not sure, I think you do need milk. And the only thing is, I've not got much milk left. And I'm not prepared to go back out again because I've already been out already to get coffee. Um, but I think you need milk, and there's not much milk left, so now I'm kind of really debating whether I should try and find a recipe for milkless Yorkshire puddings, or I don't know. Okay, I've got some good news. You can you can add like water as, as a substitute, so if they say you don't recommend it because it won't be as like sort of fluffy, but I don't care. Uh, but I think what I might do is I might add like half water and half milk, so you suppose I have like 200 millilitres of milk. So what I might do is I might add 150 millilitres of water and then 50 millilitres of milk and just see how that goes. So yeah, Yorkshire puddings can still commence. 